So, hi guys. Um, now this game or I'm about to play might go on the channel. If you're seeing it, then it it, it is. But see, I I can't really play a game and like log on to it each day and press like you know I forget. But this game is kind of special to me. If that makes any sense, because it's one of my favorite games. It's my favorite Assassin's Creed game. Now most people don't like it, but I love this game so much. Like the snow, the parkour, the combat. Now. Black Flag was really good as well, but like I played Black Flag, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, I tried to finish Revelations, that didn't work, I've played um, Unity, I got a Syndicate, but it was scratched when I got it, and it was brand new, um, uh, I played Origins, I played Odyssey, I didn't finish them too. I've never played Liberation. I played, uh, I never played Freedom Cry. I've played Assassin's Creed Rogue, I think it is. And I've played, I've played, I've played most of the series. I've played Assassin's Creed 1. Uh, yeah. And this game was my favorite by far. Used to be when people talked oh. about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. 
He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the Apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Oh, wow. Do I have to watch that all again? Oh, don't tell me I have to watch that all again. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, Can I not skip? Them up or laugh them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them I'll seriously. skip when this is over. Let's go. I wasn't one just watching TikTok the whole thing. But like, this game was my favorite. I don't know why, I just really liked it. I think the game gets good when you switch to we're gonna get them. I still remember that name after five years of not playing that, this game. I think that's his name anyway. And I only realized the uh, 2012 December 21st is when they were predicting the world would end. We're here. But I, I wasn't, oh no, I was only like three at that point. And I was like six playing this game. Yes, six. And I have no proof, so believe me if you want to, but like, if you don't want to, then don't. Let's go. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where does Desmond's hairline go back to the 1600s, though? All right, we gotta stop making fun of Desmond, guys. We'll, we'll hurt, we'll hurt his feelings. This is basically more saturated than the first game, I think. That's all they've done. But like, still a great game, no matter how good or bad the graphics are. Well, like if they're pixels, then like I probably wouldn't play it, because. Don't know why. My cat, if if my cat sits in front of me, can I, no. And then whenever I pick her up, it annoys her. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't. No. Don't say no. Okay, one minute. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Almost skipped that cutscene. I think uh, the guy's name was, we're gonna get to. I say it really weirdly, I don't know why. I think we're here. Oh. Are you not gonna, oh. Oh, I picked back up your light. You might need it. Well, <coughs> it's gone, now it's gone. And they changed the run button. I was pressing the button to try to run and then I pressed the shoot button and then, yeah, I started running. I don't like the levels where you play as Desmond in this game. But I don't know. I don't like the one where you have to sneak through. Oh no, I'll, I'll spoil a bit. Spoilers, a bit ahead, skip to this timestamp if you wanna uh, not get spoiled. But like, I, I, I don't like the one where you sneak into the festival uh, boxing place, I think it is, or WWE place. I don't know. Alright. Oh, 
This game is so good. His hair looks so greasy though. You must find the key. I don't know if Americans and stuff use that word, but in Ireland, Son. basically, like, oh, Sir. What? so, but uh, here we go again. Greasy means like you know, if you haven't washed your hair in a few days, and it's kind of like. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Okay, Cameron. Desmond, oh. while you were uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. Mm. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Oh, it's, oh I can't go over there. Okay, Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. What? Just kind of shimmy. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Mm, okay, then. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Oh, for jump. Yes, I'm on PS4. If you're wondering, okay. I, oh, that was sick. Synchronization levels look good now. You should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Keep on sir. Going this way or... sir, everything all right, sir? Yes, all right. fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? This game looks way Ladies better. Ladies and gentlemen, 
You are requested to kindly find your seats. Good evening, sir. This way, please. How are these people already in here if they just opened the door? My apologies. tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. A thousand pardons. Uh, my apologies. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. I just had to do something. Uh. Oh no, it doesn't let me peek my head up. That'll be funny. Oh. I'm tired. Soon after this mission, I know it's, it's gonna be a short episode, but like, oh, I'm, I'm very tired. Like, how would you not hear this? Oh, come on, someone has to see, like, a moon drop. found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I.
Oh god. Calm, please. Oh. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be all thin? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. <sighs> the graphics don't look too good. Fascinating. Mm. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. But of one thing I am certain, whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. There's no way I just finished a sequence already. What time is it? Twelve. Yeah, I'll probably end the episode off when I get out of the cutscene. I know this will only be like. I know it'll only be like a 10 minute episode, but I'll do, uh, I'll do a big video on it. Some fresh air might do me good. Okay, I'll do this question.
and then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnell. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. Jesus, I've never seen that take down. We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No, but you should be. Jesus, I'm knocking these guys. Oh, never. Oh. Wow, you know bring the knife. No, I'm still gonna beat him. Oh yeah, I can decide. What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These four we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. Huh. There's your knife back. <coughs> I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader. Ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. He's got a rations again. Claims we're not having second thoughts now, yet. You there! I have some questions for you. 
That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. The shitty fella won't hardly take his hat off. Keeps his face quiet. Here he comes. Make like you're working. A uh, doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain. You or the sound passengers. just like Jane. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me... Are you James? Aye. Haytham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. There's a word sign in the back of like, like no, whatever. Um, that's my cat picking up my bed. Like cats, if they have clothes, like she has a toy thingy down there, but sir. she never uses it. How are things? Calm and quiet, just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit, stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat off. Keep his... He's got a rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's no right that you should feast on lamb and rice. We're stuck with tin fish. Month and two days, well, it depends on what month it is. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! 
I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Why will I just decapitate you right now? Secure the hatch! Hate him. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to like get rid of my weapons so I can disarm them and like stab them. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. <sighs> then I will. All right. All right.
Take them! You take the four masts! James! To the main mast Aye. with you! Don't you can I'm guessing it is. take that long to like I know it doesn't nowadays but like back then it we shouldn't does it Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Come inside. of the game like where it says the name is created by I don't know if it's Ubisoft or Ubisoft I call them Ubisoft Tomel Music, the soundtrack to this game is really good in my opinion. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been uh, asked to introduce you to the city. Help you settle Charles. in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? 
One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives. I thought... Yes? Out with it. Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. Please! This way. Someone stop him! Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Keep on restarting this game. I'd always like speed run through this, but oh, damn springs! This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am greatly so. In fact, what's happened? I was robbed. The old Vulcan file. And though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Patham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. Reverend Julius Foster will be guest preacher this Sunday at St. Mary's for the good of all. Will come and enter, please. Could you not just take one from the ship? for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No, Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. 
And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Whoops, mic was muted. Probably I'm gonna end it there. And yeah, see you next time. Goodbye.